What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Wednesday, and welcome to this week's collection review. And today we're gonna to be diving into the very serious watch box of Robert Downey Jr., as told by GQ. Let's do it. All right, before we jump into Robert Downey Jr.'s watches, uh, a quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a beautiful Universal Geneve pull router strapped on a TNH Sark strap, uh, semi-matte alligator tapered beautifully yellow lining. Uh, our collaboration with Jean Rousseau literally brings the best straps to the strap market. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you don't already own one and you can fix that uh, in the link in the description. And I highly recommend you do. Okay, so uh, GQ did a video two years ago, I believe, uh, where they jumped into Robert Downey Jr.'s, you know, watches. They took a very comical approach. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think that we consume so much very, very serious watch content uh, that, you know, it can get sometimes a little bit stale and a little sarcasm. Uh, I don't know, lightens the entire, I don't know, mood, right? That's kind of what we do here at TNH. Uh, for example, um, in a Hodinkee video, you would never see Ben look like sh like I do right now, you know, because because they're professionals. We're just a bunch of bums that love watches and have a very serious dedication to getting you content every day, even if that means I have to record three minutes after waking up. So, uh, okay, so his first watch is a beautiful blue Breitling, I believe it's a Super Ocean, that uh, he looks at with, you know, with, with intent, he's about to tell you a story about it, uh, and then just says he just doesn't know. Which is kind of funny because I think it sets the tone for the entire collection. I think maybe his reaction was even more, you know, relevant uh, and, and a better insight into kind of how he uh, looks at watches. We'll start here. I'm not actually going to dive into all of uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s watches because he did that and he did it much better than I possibly could. And you can watch the GQ video because we've linked it in the description below. But uh, what I think is so kind of interesting uh, about the video, one, his sense of comedy, but two, that basically all of his watches are tied to other people. His Paddock Nautilus 5712 uh, is a watch that his wife gave him. His Titanium Bell and Ross was given to him by Ben Stiller. His blacked out Rolex was from a pair uh, he bought one from himself and one for his buddy for his birthday. His ultra complicated JLC Tourbillon, you know, is connected to everyone that was on the Iron Man set. Uh, everything here truthfully has meaning. They're not just, you know, items. I feel like, you know, when you're Robert Downey Jr., right, when you have all the kind of money and resources that anyone could possibly really want, um, it's so much more important to have things that represent something. You know, that guy can, you know, probably buy almost any watch he wants. But the funky Bell and Ross that Ben Stiller gave to him after Tropic Thunder uh, probably just means more. Uh, one last note, uh, there were a lot of accusations in YouTube that his Speedmaster is fake. Uh, and I will say this, uh, it is at least uh, a Frankenstein or a fake dial at least. Obviously we can't speak to the entire watch because we don't have it in our hands and we can't inspect it. But his Speedmaster is one of the many, 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 many in the world that is not correct at least. So that's it, go watch Iron Man himself talk about his own watches uh, in the GQ video we've linked in the description. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching this episode of Collection Review. I know it was not a traditional collection review, um, but I think it was kind of a funny one that if you haven't seen already, you definitely should. Cheers guys, have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you all tomorrow on Lug to Look.